Yeah. All right. Any questions about any of his crazy matches, his opponents, who did he like facing? No, we've already had enough of you. <laughs> how, about, how did you get the scars in the back of your head? Teddy, how did you get the scars in the back of your head? From his woman. Please. All right, Wayne. Shh. Can we let can we, can we let let's, let's just let Teddy talk a little bit. You know, you've, you've, you've had your 15 minutes. Um, company called CZW Combat Zone Wrestling in uh, Philadelphia used to wrestle out of the ECW building. I think they've I think they switched buildings now. But there was a promoter owner named John Zandig who claimed when he asked me, "Are we doing any weapons tonight, or tables, or thumbtacks?" Or gimmick stuff and I said well my, my body's a weapon so I really don't think I need any gimmicks I said just I guess watch and see what I can do and if the people at the end of the show are all standing up cheering my name and I'm more over than you are in your own company the first night and I haven't had to do anything crazy like light myself on fire or jump off of a balcony onto a table or I'm not, not saying there's not skills in doing hardcore stuff I've done it all too but there's a time and place to me and the first thing I want to be able to do is wrestle especially coming out of the dungeon uh, being a wrestler is a big thing and being able to do the, the magic of wrestling with another guy uh, without truly killing him and if people understand that then they understand Santa Claus you understand wrestling you understand comedy you understand special effects in a movie and we can all pretend to be stupid and put the work on it what happened with Devin tonight was the first time I've been shoot pissed off I had a promoter or a friend of mine in years, and I hope another John Zandig thing doesn't happen, but John Zandig became unprofessional in the ring, lost his temper, like Devin did, and then all of a sudden attacked me, uh, and shoot, did a move to me, and dropped me on my head on a bed of nails that he wouldn't bump on himself, and it happened to land, I think, on like 15 nails, but only three cut me, and it left the back of the, the mark of the beast, they call it, and I think it's the mark of the devil has blessed me to stay on the planet Earth to make more people believe in God because I, I pray to God that people watch me and get motivated that I'm still walking, surgery free, uh, and I've been safe doing all this stuff for all these years because I believe fans are happy seeing someone take their life and risk it for your smile or for your complaint or for your question, whatever it is, but that's my job is to give you guys something and to be different. And that's something I try to pride myself on being as a third generation guy. And uh, CGW is a company I went to and used my body as a weapon. And tomorrow I'm going to use my body as a weapon. And Devin's going to see what happens when you piss off the tiger here. Because that dog right there is upset because they said that cats are the superior animal. And it was a subconscious thing I was given to the dog. But the dog made a big mistake when he accepted listening to people's commands. The cat said, what the hell are you thinking? They both looked at each other and the dog said, shit, now they know we can understand them. And the dog's been running around doing shit like kissing asses and licking asses for the last 500 years. And cats do whatever the hell they want to do, kind of like me. So I don't mind acknowledging that I listen, but you better have food for me or money. And dogs do whatever they want because they're supposed to. But I haven't seen anybody give a cat a licking for not listening. I've seen a lot of dogs getting shit for not sitting down. So I hope you understand what I'm saying.